What is up guys? Welcome to another Life of Bliss. If you're new to the channel, I have been going over almost every step in completing my basement and my house. So be sure to check out some of those other videos. This week, I'm going to be finishing up a few things before carpet gets installed. One of those being getting these built-in stain that I made and attached over by the fireplace. So I went through a couple of different test boards to see, first off, what stain I wanted to use and how it was going to look between the two different woods. I'm using poplar board for the front side of these and then uh, birch plywood for the sides. And you're not going to see too much of the sides except one of them on each cabinet. Uh, but I did want them to be matching or at least similar. Um, so I'll kind of show you what I went through and what I ended up with. So these are the different products that I ended up using just for my test boards. Um, I ended up trying just the stain by itself, the penetrating oil stain, and it really did not turn out well. Um, but actually, in the end, I ended up taking a piece of both of the boards and just doing the gel coat stain on there. And that ended up giving me the color that I wanted, and it was very even. It looks very similar, so I was pretty happy with the way that turned out. So like I said, in the end, I'm just going to be using a gel stain. So I'm going to get a first coat of this on this evening and probably do two or three coats total to where I get the darkness that I'd like. And then we'll start putting some poly over everything. coats of the gel stain on I'm now going to go over everything with the satin polyurethane and I've already done the inside of the cabinets with one coat of the urethane I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat on the inside and then probably do three coats on the face and on the sides here that are going to be showing So now that the built-ins have had roughly a day to dry, I'm going to go ahead and install them on either side of the fireplace and we can go ahead and start putting our stone veneer up. So we got both cabinets in place on either side here. Um, if you remember back to when I made the bases, um, I leveled everything out, I shimmed them to make sure the base was level so my cabinets would be level and look at that so to attach the cabinets to the wall i'm going to be using some two and a half inch cabinet screws and i'm just going to find a couple studs put a few up top and a few down below 
um, just to hold it in there nice and secure. After I attach the cabinets, I'm going to use my level and draw a line straight up the wall here and come back with the sander and sand some of this paint off the wall just so that thin set can get a nice good stick onto the, the uh, cement board there and I don't have any adhesion issues. After that, I need to go through all of my rock and make separate little areas with the different widths of the veneer. So this is obviously narrower than this one here, but I'm gonna separate all those out. That way I can find the stones that I'm looking for and be able to piece everything together a lot quicker that way. Decided to go ahead and put the kick plates on underneath the built-ins there. Put the mantle on. Now what I'm going to be doing, um, this mantle was on that French cleat sitting right up here if you uh, saw the other video I made. Since we're putting the rock up and it's going to be permanent, I'm actually going to throw just a few screws up in the top and in the bottom just to really suck it up against the wall there. Uh, so I got some uh, four inch screws or so for the top and about two and a half inch for the bottom. And I'm just gonna go along the studs at an angle and shoot a couple screws in here just to really suck it up tight up there against the wall. And then I'll mix up some thin sets and start laying the hearth stones and the rest of the rock wall. Now, a few days ago, I actually mixed up some thin sets and did a few trial uh, pieces here, just to see how they would stick and a couple different methods of throwing them up there. Uh, eventually, I ended up deciding on doing a trowel half inch trowel and uh, just back buttering these stones and throwing them up there. This is a very, very solid mount there. I mean, I ended up knocking this loose and half of this loose and I ended up taking a hammer with the, the claws on the back and getting them behind it and really ripping it off. And it rips the concrete board before that thin set comes off there. Um, and everything stuck on there real well. So uh, yeah, like I said, this will be the method of doing it. I'll go ahead and trowel a section back butter and then kind of work in small sections like that and i got to be honest i am a little nervous about doing this uh, i've never done stone work before like this um, this is something that was fairly expensive and is going to take quite a bit to tear down and redo if anything gets messed up so uh, yeah let's just jump into it and see what happens So it's been about 20 hours since I did all that yesterday. Uh, I wanted to give it a chance to dry to make sure everything was sticking properly. Um, I got the whole bottom hearth section done there. The few places I had to use an angle grinder just to get them to fit correctly, but everything looks pretty natural. It, uh, you know, don't have any flat sharp edges or anything like that. So I think it's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and start working on either side of the fireplace uh, and working up to the mantle here. I need to tape off and put some plastic over both my built-ins and I'm going to tape and put some plastic over the uh, hearthstones there because there is mortar that does end up falling down and I don't want it sticking to there. And instead of using the trowel and putting the trowel lines on the wall, I think I'm just going to use the margin trowel and back butter them real heavy. Um, about halfway when I got done, I don't know how long the video uh, lasted for. Um, but I got to all the bottom, the sides, and I got about halfway, and I ended up scraping off the rest of that mortar because I felt like it was getting a little too dry. 
Um, whereas in the bucket, it was staying uh, a little bit wetter longer. So I'm just gonna back butter them and start working my way up the sides of the wall. So there's still a few things I'm going to have to do. Uh, I do need to come back and throw some grout in between these uh, hearthstones there. I have a ton of rock left over, which I knew I would. I didn't know I was gonna have this much left over. But what I'm planning on doing with that is over there in the bar, I'm planning on rocking that wall off and putting a step, uh, kind of like a bar stool step there as well. So I'm gonna work some more hearthstone, get that going and use this rock for that process as well. So this took me about three days to complete. Uh, I did the bottom section first to make sure that everything was gonna stick right. I was able to then do the two sides and the bottom of on top of the fireplace. I had to take these up to make sure that they wouldn't fall. And then I was able to fill in up top and do the rest above the mantle on the third day. I uh, probably could have got it all done in one day. It really didn't take a whole lot of time once I got going. Um, but this is the first time I've done anything like that and I want to make sure it was going to stick. But we are super excited about how it's turned out. I think it looks good with the thick wood mantle. Um, looked a lot better than what was here before. So uh, pretty excited to get the other floating shelves in and finish up these cabinets to see how this wall is going to look overall. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and check back for more Life of Bliss.